mentioned girl talk today on the show after talking about weddings earlier or not rushing to get married now we talk about makeup we always do this every so often here on the show pero ngayon po meron tayong kasama she is a kababayan makeup artist for this brand called Tint Cosmetics Christy Baby Christy Dumapias Baby hello and welcome Hi. to Kababayan thanks for Ali. having me Christy let's talk about um, Tint Cosmetics you know it, when you go to say for example a department store or even you know drugstore or grocery store you see a lot of cosmetics being um, advertised right and then being sold but how is tint different from all those cosmetic lines okay tint is very unique and original because we do have vintage packaging as you can see here we have a wide variety of lip shades and lip colors the main ingredient that we have in all of our lip shines is shea butter, mm -hmm. which as you know, it helps to soften your lips and hydrate and moisturize. At the same time, you're getting a lot of color and a lot of brilliance to your lips. And you should know, because you're a makeup artist, I'm sure you've worked with other lines before. Yes, I yeah? have. And, and how do they, how do they um, compare when you apply, when they stick on the face? Well, their colors are very natural and becoming, and they adhere to the skin. So it doesn't lay on the superficial layer of the skin. It actually adheres to it and helps to blend well. Right. Now, the common problem is also some powders, um, and you have some powders here, too. Mm -hmm. you, you apply a little bit, and then by nighttime it's already gone like right. it's already worn off yeah right we do have fantastic eyeshadows too we have loose powder eyeshadows here they mm -hmm. come in a variety of different colors and the good thing about them is that they do last throughout the whole day mm -hmm. you can apply it once wet or dry and you'll notice after a couple hours it's still there even with the warm summer heat and I want to ask you about that too uh, what's the difference between applying powder wet or dry uh -huh. what are the advantages and disadvantages well that's a good question a lot of people tend to ask me that mm -hmm. when you apply a loose shadow to your eyelid it actually is a lot more softer mm -hmm. and not so much brilliance and color but when you notice when you do wet your brush and apply the loose powder to the lids it adds more of a line and more of a definition oh, okay mm -hmm. well for the summer what do you uh, what do you suggest we do we apply it wet or dry I would probably do both mm -hmm. you can do the dry loose powder more natural and becoming look in the daytime uh -huh. in the evening if you go out to dinner to the movies you probably want more glamorous look okay. so therefore you'd wet the brush and then apply it and have more brilliance and we have uh, different cosmetic lines, you know, one cosmetic line is known for their lipstick or one cosmetic line is known for their uh, particular shade of, of, um, of um, blush. But what is a Tint Cosmetics known for? We are definitely known for our lip shines. Okay. We have flavored lip shines. We have the large ones here, we have the minis here, mm -hmm. and their names are very familiar sounding, such as Double Bubble. Wow. It's the pink one here. Mm -hmm. It actually smells like their name, too. Oh. So if you want to take a smell of this, a little <laughs> sniff, it actually smells like bubble gum. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Does it taste like bubble gum, too? No. Actually, there's no taste to it, which is nice. <laughs> right. so it's not like your typical lip gloss. Oh, okay. See, and the thing is with lip gloss, especially now we have, like, color, color stay ones. And how long mm -hmm. do, the, do these, uh, does the gloss stay? You very rarely have to reapply throughout the day. Even if you have a cup of coffee or something for lunch, you'll notice that there's still pigment on your lips. Mm -hmm. But by all means, we all say reapply if you need to. Right. Mm -hmm. Some people have, and we, they, this is always a problem, they get their the color stuck on their teeth too. Mm -hmm. w why is that? I think when they use especially the dark colors mm -hmm. or the really loud colors like the reds, they usually bleed off the lip and onto the teeth. Mm -hmm. With these ones, since there are a high gloss, right. if they do get on the teeth, they kind of melt off the teeth, so you oh. don't get that teeth stain. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and one last question before we do a demo, because I know you're, you're doing a demo for us later. When it comes to foundations, there's different kinds. There's cake, there's liquid, there's all kinds. There's powder foundation. Which, how do you know which one to use? Well, I would say it absolutely depends on what your lifestyle is. Mm -hmm. If you're a working gal, stay at home mom or if you work in the evenings you want to probably stick to something that's going to coincide with your daily lifestyle. Okay. Say so, for example um, who uses the liquid foundation? I would say probably the working woman mm -hmm. that needs a lot of coverage oh, okay. that's going to last throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Maybe a stay-at-home mom that's running around with the kids maybe they can use a sheer color tinted moisturizer mm -hmm. 
or even a loose powder would work for them. And the stick foundation? Stick foundation, a little bit too cakey, maybe someone that works on the movie set. Right, <laughs> Someone okay. like you, maybe, right. too, that needs a lot of, you know, for lighting and film work. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And we're going to have a makeup demo uh, later on the show. We'll introduce you to our Cabo Bayan LA intern. She's very pretty. And you're going to do work on her, right? Yes. We will be back for that. Don't go away.